Hey, how's it going folks? I'm Scott Stragon and this is Art Survival Evolved, my beginner's guide. Before we get started, I do apologise, there wasn't a beginner's guide video up the other night. Um, doing videos seven nights a week is quite a lot of work and caught up with me a wee bit, so I had to have a wee break off. Um, but lucky enough I had some extra taming videos done so I just popped one of them in to cover the slot um, but yeah as I say we should be back to normal um, and in this episode we are going to build our new greenhouse and our new cookhouse to go with the greenhouse so I've got a few ideas in mind um, going to go with pillars again um, just for because it is quite uneven ground as you can see um, it's, it can be quite awkward when you when you don't have the clip on um, trying to get foundations in that early and for a big enough area so the easier way to do it is pillar so we're just going to actually take our lines from the back of the crafting station to begin with um, we'll move some pillars out. We may leave a gap in between. That's a possibility. Because I do want to extend the crafting station out. There's, I'm not happy that there's not enough storage really in the crafting station. So, basically, I'm going to be... I'll do that off camera and then... I'm going to move this up one wall out. Refence it and the vaults that are there, we're going to slide back as far as possible to the fence and that should give us enough room to get a second row of vaults in which will give us more storage but today's video is all about the greenhouse and the cookhouse we have been struggling a wee bit just to keep the food going at the moment I keep popping back to the old base and grabbing food and stuff out of there so we need to get our own our own food supply built back up. So this is why the next few videos may be building videos. We want to get the other structures up into place, our breeding, our kibble farm and everything else. So if you're enjoying the series, hit that thumbs up. Uh, Resubscription, must appreciate it and leave me a wee comment, let me know what you think, let me know what you think of the series so far, and yeah, I need to get, let's get started, okay, it's, there's not going to be a lot of talking, and I do apologise for the building videos, um, that there's no music or anything playing in them, it's just that every time I seem to put music to a video or anything, I get copyrighted. So, I don't put music to my videos because, no matter what, even though they say some of the music is uncopyright, so it's safe to use, I always end up with co uh, copyright. So, that's the reason I don't use music in my like, montage videos and stuff. So, I do apologise for that if it's a wee bit dull. Um. But yeah, it's better get started. Sun's up now, plenty of light, and RG's been loaded up with more resources. So we're going to be using the mobile smithy on the RG again. We will be building, keeping with the building of the metal and the uh, greenhouse. So yeah, I better get started.
Alright folks, so we nipped over to the old base there just to pick up our dung beetle, our fiomia, grab our fertiliser and all the stuff out of the preserving bin, the cage and stuff like that. I'll just double check these again, I didn't think so. If you look directly above us, you can see we're right under that land bridge, or the, the structure, or the rock structure. That's preventing us from getting any greenhouse effect, which you don't really need it. All it does is speed up the growth of your crops. If you wanted greenhouse effect, you would just need to pull the structure. You can see where the shade is. Pull it over into the sunshine, and you would get greenhouse effect. I just I'd put mine there like that because. Really, I'm not needing greenhouse effect, but it's a part of the game and a part of the setting up a greenhouse. So if you're wanting a greenhouse effect, move your structure further out into the sun. You can see where the shade is, because we've built in the shade of the, the mountain, basically. And it's preventing us from getting our... E greenhouse effect. Right, so I'm just going to get the cage down here so I can get that dung beetle back in here. Um, I don't know put it out there that way. Um, I think I'll do it that way because I might stick a vault there for extra for the extra fertilizer we have because. When you're constantly making fertilizer, you'll go through it in the veggies, but it's we don't need plant species here, so we've left the plant species up at the other base and that the now, but don't even think about it. Uh behaviour. Oh, oh, oh. back behaviour. Evil wondering. Right, uh, is he feeding from the trough? He is. That is perfect. I wasn't sure if the range of the trough would have came around. And I forgot to take the cryopods with me. So the otter is in Nargy's mouth, as you can see. I was carrying the dung beetle and the fuel me was getting carried by Nargy. It was quite a fun, uh, funny thing to see. I have taken a screenshot, so it's something to remember. Um, right, uh, I need to get stuff organised here, because I just listed everything at the preserving bin as well. Um, so we need flowers, eggs, oh, jeez, sheesh, I don't think. Right, so we'll get sorted this out and we'll carry on organising this.
Well, there we have it, folks. We have a fully functioning greenhouse and basically a cooking station for where we're going to be. Well, we're growing our veggies now. As I said, we don't get greenhouse due to the structure up that we built under. But you can take the greenhouse further back to get the greenhouse effect if you want it. Really, all it does is speed up the growth of the veg vegetables. It doesn't make them taste any better. <laughs> so yeah, we've got our industrial cooker up. We've got our industrial grills, plenty of refrigerated storage, we've got eggs, um, I'll need to name all these, um, we've got eggs, veggies, jerkies, we're going to start making the jerky again because it does take a long time to make jerky, um, and these will be for berries, the different berries because there is recipes you need different berries for. So we've got a fridge there for each of the berries as well. Plus we've got near enough a full vault of fertilizer thanks to the little dung beetle there and the fiomia. Um a wee storage box just for our seeds and a couple of preserving bins just to make a jerk in. There you have it, folks. An up-to-date, uh, basically, greenhouse cook station. Which will make e life even better. I don't need to keep running back over to the old base. And... Brings us to a sad note. Anyway, the old base will be getting demolished. Um... Possibly before I film the next episode. Um, yeah, but we don't need that wee base over there anymore. So we've got our main base here. We've still got a few more things to do to this one. Um, as I said, there's a wee issue with the crafting station that I want to get sorted out with. Um, just there's not enough storage for my liking. And yeah, we've got uh, a breeding centre to build, and um, what else we've got? A breeding centre to build, and a, basically a kibble factory, or an egg, fa egg factory for the kibble. And for like some of the recipes you need specific eggs and that, so we've got that to build as well. Um, yeah, a couple of, well one of the kibble one, the egg factory is a major build, it's quite a big, big structure that needs built. Or, well we could do, actually do it in one level maybe and just have it longer, but we'll wait and see. Um, so yeah, if you've enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up, we subscribe, most, most appreciated. Leave me a wee notification, let me know what you think. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any episodes. And I do apologise again that I missed out on one of the beginner builds. Um, one of the beginner episodes. Uh, as I said, it was just... It's a lot of hours going into filming, uh, recording, should I say, and then... A lot of editing to get done to, so it's down to a reasonable sort of level to watch. But, yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. So, yeah, take care, stay safe. We'll catch you in the next one.